Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace of Almighty God be upon each and every one of you. Um, this isn't an easy question or a simple question. It has a very long story that goes behind it, and uh, I will try to keep it down below 10 minutes. God willing. Um, my story to Islam started from the day I was born. In Islamic theology, we have an aspect of belief structure that every single human being is born as a Muslim. Every single human being that was ever born was submitted to the will of Almighty God. No human being could climb back up into its mother's womb and say, I don't want to be born. They all submit to the will of the Creator of the heavens and the earth. Then their family members, their nation, their tribe, their culture, decides which path they will follow from there. So my journey started there. I was born as a Muslim. Then, my family, being Catholic, Roman Catholic at the time, I followed that path. I got raised in a Roman Catholic background. We went to church. We went through the ceremonies, which are throughout the Catholicism faith. And many of the faith standards and the traditions that are in the Catholic faith, I used to question, even as a young child. In fact, to the point, I used to go to a Catholic school. Cool. And some of the questions, the thought-provoking questions as a young child, they usually ask some of the most amazing questions, don't they? Children. So some of these questions that they would, I would ask these nuns would cause them to get upset. For one, they didn't have the answer to the question. And number two, how was I to ask questions about the creator of the heavens and the earth? Shouldn't I just believe it blindly? And so I, I remember when I was five, six years old, getting beat by a Catholic nun because of the questions I used to ask. So I, I explained to my parents that maybe Catholic school was not the best for me. Maybe I should try public school. And so that's what ended up happening. Now, I didn't mean that uh, I didn't still go to the Catholic church in that. Um, just like in Islam, sometimes we have what I like to call Ramadan Muslims. So during the month of Ramadan, they show up in full force. Uh, I, we were the group of family that would, I like to call the, uh, we come during the Catholics. I call us Eastern Christian Catholics, okay? So during these holidays and that, we would show up with all of our family members and that, and we would go through the ceremonies and we did this for a long period of time. And one thing changed. Uh, when I got 16, 17 years old, I started to question my belief structure in Catholicism. Now, at the time, I thought I would find the answers I was looking for inside of Christianity, inside of Christian doctrine. And so, as I started to look through the text, and as I started to go to different places, different denominations of Christianity, I kept on coming against this same brick wall. And it was this concept of the oneness of the Creator of the heavens and the earth. That the Creator is not like the creation. That he's a separate entity, totally, and separate from his creation. So there were certain aspects in different denominations of Christianity that violated this one concept. Not all, but there was something there that I couldn't get my mind around. So I didn't get the answer I was looking for, but I didn't give up looking. And it wasn't until I came into the U.S. Navy that I started to get mixing in with other cultures and other backgrounds from different faiths and different cultures and different ethnicities. That I started to get some clarity that us white people are not the only people on the planet. Our culture is not the only culture on the planet. And I give you this aspect because I grew up in a small little farm town, kind of like here in Wisconsin, in Michigan. You know, I, I grew up working on a farm, and I, and I, I remember when the first African-American student came to my high school. And I remember I brought him home to my father, and it was the first time that I ever experienced racism. I never knew what it was before. But the words that came out of my father's mouth, I'm not going to get to this day. All I knew is that this black man became white like a ghost. And it was the first time that I ever became angry, and I struck my father. 
I didn't know anger before that. I didn't know what racism was. And then when I came into the Navy and I got intermixing with these different cultures and different ethnic backgrounds, I started to realize that we all have the similar hopes, dreams, wants, and many of us, we want to know who our creator is, but we're lacking the guidance or the path to follow. So, to make a long story short, I met a woman. On the weekends, I would work at a club, drinking alcohol. That's what we did in the Navy, right? So I would work all day during the week. And then on the weekends, I would hang up my bootstraps, hang up my polished brass, in my nice pressed off uniform. And we would go into the clubs and we would drink alcohol. And do what most men do in this country, chase women. So one woman comes into the club one night. Now, she fell down the steps and cracked open her skull. And the man that owned the club, he was afraid of losing his liquor license, afraid of going to jail, afraid of all of the different aspects that we have in this culture to stop certain things like this. So he said, get her out of my club. So I carried her up the stairs and put her in a cab with her friend and paid for the cab. To make a long story short, a couple of weeks later, she came back, she thanked me. And then after a period of time, we started to date one another. And one day she came to me crying. I said, why are you crying? She said, my mom and my dad, they want me to marry someone from my own country. And I don't want to marry them. I said, is that it? No problem, I'll marry you. She began so happy, tears started to roll down her face. She said, there's one thing, you have to become a Muslim. I said, great, what is a Muslim? <laughs> I had no idea. She said, all you have to do is go down to this man, down at the mosque, and repeat after him, and you're a Muslim. I said, that's it? Great. So I went down there and I took the testimony of faith, not knowing what the testimony of faith really was. I said, Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammadu Rasulullah. Which means I bear witness that there is no God except for God. He, he is not like any other deity and there is no partnership with him. And I bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah is his slave and final messenger. Now, after I took this testimony of faith, it wasn't like a magic curtain and now I'm a Muslim. I still continued to drink. I still continued to do things that went against the Islamic practices that were outlined inside of the Quran. But one thing changed. I got introduced to the Quran. I have 150 copies of the Quran in the English language out there for each and every one of you that you like it. Because it was the message that was inside of the book that started to change me. I kept coming across verses in the Quran that said, this book is for those who reflect. And it started to challenge me about who the Creator was. And all of the answers were already hardwired inside of myself. But it brought it all out. So I was able to reconnect back to my Lord. And so sometimes I even get into arguments with Muslims about what I like to call myself. I like to call myself a revert. They said, why don't you call yourself a convert? They said, because I'm not a convert. I'm reverting back to the original religion I started out at. I'm not converting to a new religion. I'm going back to what God gave me from the very beginning. He put that map right there inside of me. And from that point, me and my wife, we started to have problems because I started bringing her verses which were inside of her book and saying, wait a minute, we're not supposed to be drinking. Wait a minute, we're not supposed to be going to clubs. Wait a minute, we're supposed to be dressed in modestly. So we started to argue a lot. And so we both parted ways. But this is where my story started to begin. And I started to learn the teachings and the text instead of looking at the actions of the Muslims. Because by Allah, if I would have looked at the actions of the Muslims to begin with, by Allah, I would not have chosen this path. But I got a chance to look at the text. 
which is the unadulterated word of Almighty God. And you have 10,000 witnesses of companions and female companions that slept next to, right next to, the Prophet, peace be upon him. I ask Christians this one question. Imagine if we had 10,000 disciples of Jesus, peace be upon him, that wrote down every single word that came out of his mouth. And imagine if Jesus, peace be upon him, was married. And so not only did you get Jesus as a man, as a prophet, but you also got Jesus as a husband, you got Jesus as a father, you got Jesus as all these different aspects that we have no insight into. We don't have that with any other prophet. But the last and the final messenger of Almighty God, we have that. All of his companions, they wrote down everything. And so it's amazing. I, you know, I've been studying Islam for 15 years, and I've just scratched the surface. And I don't see any end in sight. And so that is my story on how I came to Islam. There's a lot of other stories I could add in there, because there's a lot of amazing things that have happened over this 15 years. But that's how I ended up coming to Islam. Jazakallah khairan, barakallah fi, salam alaykum wa rahmatullah.